What's up, y'all? So this morning, Microsoft released the pre-orders for the Xbox that was supposed to happen at 10 Central. And guess what happened, y'all? Servers melted down, websites crashed, chaos ensued. So here's what uh, went on that day and my experience with that. It was really no different than the PS5. Kind of the same thing. Um, so first I loaded up Best Buy. And then I loaded up, this is the Microsoft site to the right here. And this was right like a, a, right at 10 Central Standard Time when these things went live. Best Buy saying coming soon, nothing changing there. Refresh, refresh, at least the website was working. Microsoft immediately said, we're sorry, this page you requested cannot be found. Uh, so yeah, um, constantly, constantly reloading there. And it was saying this for a little bit. Uh, went over immediately to Walmart, had it in my cart put the credit card information in hit review place order or whatever and immediately got we're sorry the item below is no longer available blah blah wah, 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 wah. out of stock almost immediately so walmart ran out within seconds if not a minute um just really really quick there so no luck on walmart close that browser let's go back to microsoft best buy refreshing those we're sorry the page request requested could not be found still getting that i'm like what the hell best buy still coming soon or this is probably about five minutes after the 10 10 a.m go time there still can't load it up just kind of getting frustrated with this because you know every time these come out they don't have anything in place really to queue up people like with the ps5 and the uh, digital uh, invitation that you got to in, to basically buy it direct from them if you all participated in that there was a queue it was a self-refreshing website it worked great once you're in there was no lag you could shop you could purchase it there was no questions if ands or buts if you got the order or not, it went through and it just worked. I don't know why Best Buy, especially a huge corporation like this, can't get a queue system in for these hot releases. It's not just the consoles. It's other stuff that comes out, too, that kind of does this um, from time to time. When there's a hot, hot product and there's a super amount of demand there, you would think that these companies would put in some kind of queue system or something that says, hey, first come, first serve, a digital line in this virtual world, and, you know, it would help stop the website from completely crashing because when the playstation launched what the what best buy's website wasn't working for three hours that's three hours of commerce that just didn't happen that's gone that's never going to be recoverable so you know it's really affecting their bottom lines it's frustrating through all the consumers out there trying to just spend their hard-earned money on this stuff and then these corporations can't get their act together and implement technology that would actually work and let business commence in an orderly uh, pace and whatnot so kind of like what's up with this microsoft i'm like god frustrated the microsoft page wasn't working at least it wasn't loading at least it was like not there and then kind of breaking it just wasn't there at all um perhaps they were still updating the back end or refreshing it at this time this was about five minutes in so let's go over to target Ooh, i see the pre-order button i get hyped i click it guess what it goes into my cart for a second i believe and then um yeah, so the, the target went in for a second. This button also wasn't quite working the entire time. You'd hammer it and nothing would happen. Uh, more on target in a second as I was constantly refreshing the other pages. I did finally get the Microsoft site to load. I came over to check out. I hit this. We are getting that green rotating loading signal here. Best Buy's no luck, by the way. That still never showed up. And then something went wrong. Please try again in a while. And I'm like, no. Oh, man. I was like, come on. Load up Microsoft. Let it go. I want to get it direct. That'd probably be the best way to guarantee you'd get it on launch day because, you know, Amazon's delaying the PS5 pre-orders and it's probably going to delay the Xbox ones if anything um, is to stay consistent with how they're doing business. So that wasn't good. Went back to Target. It went in the cart. Uh, I was on the place order screen, and same thing. All of a sudden, your cart's empty, just gone. Just not there anymore. So what the heck, Target? Uh, so... Went back to Microsoft, uh, tried to reload the page again. Still, we're sorry, the page cannot be found again. So it's like kind of not loading again. Best Buy, still the same thing. Not loading up, not having any help here. What the hell, Best Buy? Come on. So I'm checking Amazon. Amazon, this is about 7 to 10 minutes after the pre-orders went live. Amazon's nowhere to be found. You typed in Xbox Series X in the search menu up the top. It's still showing the Xbox One. 
there was no listing uh, for quite a while on Amazon. Uh, more about Amazon here um, as we as we uh, go through this video here. So uh, Microsoft's page is getting better, completely black, not loading at all. Best Buy, still nothing. The never pre-order never came up. This is roughly about 10 minutes after the pre-orders went live at 10. 10 minutes in, um, I'm really hoping for Xbox. We're just waiting on Xbox.com, trying to, you know, get it that way and whatnot. Still not loading up. Uh, popped open GameStop. Or GameSpot, GameStop. Yeah, GameStop, not the not the news site, but the GameStop. Now, they had uh, a queue going, which is at least what it looks like. You are in line. We're excited for your interest in the Xbox Series X slash Series S. We want to ensure that you have the best experience in purchasing your Xbox Series X or Xbox Series S. Uh, probably want to sell you a bundle. You know how they are. Uh, just relax, and please don't refresh or start a new session. You are in queue to join us in this exciting event. Refreshing will put you behind in the queue. We'll put you through when it's your turn. Thanks for your patience. So, yes, finally, a company that introduces some kind of queuing system. They're expecting demand. They don't want the service to crash. Queue everybody up. And guess what? Uh, that queue basically dumped me to the website, and they were out of stock. Um, it eventually happened. Um, and that was about an hour after the go live. So about 11 o'clock, this finally went away. So no luck there on GameStop. Never even saw it uh, available for purchase there. So that's kind of a sad news there let's go back to microsoft and best buy best buy still nothing this is about 15 minutes after the go live at 10 something went wrong so try refreshing the page so still no luck on microsoft still trying to get it still trying to get a pre-order at this point we're 15 minutes in i'm starting to worry uh let's go back to target we refresh that the maximum quantity of this item has already been added to your cart, so if you were to hammer this button enough, really, really punch on it, it would eventually give you this message, and you might or might not see the, the icon in the cart. And again, when I go to the cart, your cart is empty. So it was between going from here on the pre-order button, just not doing anything, or flashing this up, saying the maximum quantity is in your cart. Sometimes you wouldn't even see the number one in your cart, and then if you did get the one in your cart and you went back to it, your cart is empty. Uh, so more chaos, more frustration, just trying to spend our hard-earned money here. Come on. Let's go back to Microsoft. Okay, so at this point, I got Microsoft to load. Uh, the previous screen where it said something went wrong, please try again, where it said configure. That finally started to load up. It sat on this screen, kind of flashing in and out, these gray bars just flashing in and out, showing me that it was at least trying to do something. I was in a discord for the xbox series x and s and there was a ton of people in the pre-order section just chatting it up and one of them said yeah just let it sit on the screen it eventually went through for him so i was like yes maybe maybe we get some luck here so i let it sit there we're still refreshing best Buy as we still haven't secured a pre-order at this point this is maybe 20 20 to 30 minutes after the the launch at 10 o'clock so we're still trying to get it there. Best Buy's no luck. We let uh, Microsoft sit there and kind of churn its thing. And then, yes, finally, thank you for your order confirmation. It only took about 10 to 15 minutes on the checkout screen. So once it was in the cart, I then had to put my you know shipping address in there. It took a while to load that screen up. And then once you hit save there, it asked for your credit card information. It took quite a bit for it to save up there. I was just seeing a green you know, the kind of like the, the loading thing for Microsoft, that green loading uh, circle that you would see when you're logging into Windows. And it was sitting there, and then um, finally confirmed the billing information and then submit order. It was about, like I said, 10 to 15 minutes of sitting in the cart, biting my nails off, sweating, breathe very heavily, just freaking out that if I'm going to get it or not get it. And thank goodness we got it. Microsoft's site came in, finally got it. 53561 shipped, uh, free shipping through them, and it should arrive November 10th, 2020. So that's really, really good um, as far as that goes. We went back to Target to see if uh, anything else was going to happen here. Again, we saw the pre-order button. Clicking on it was doing absolutely nothing. Nothing was popping in the cart. It just wouldn't work at that point. And um, here, Best Buy, finally, uh, shortly after I secured it on Microsoft's direct site, finally Best Buy's pre-orders went up. I tried to get one through there as well, and it didn't happen. There was a problem adding the product to your cart. So I don't know, man. Best Buy, same thing with the PS5. 
website couldn't handle that getting these same messages the products out of stock there's a problem adding it to your cart just not working and i was refreshing it the whole time as soon as i saw the pre-order and the discord chat got lit about it it was already gone uh, so the bots or whatever is going on it, i don't know man maybe they had two of them or three who knows maybe they didn't have any who knows who knows man but no luck there on best buy the queue for gamestop was still going in nowhere quick it was just sitting there nothing happening there so that eventually did exit to their main page but then the xbox was already sold out by that time so finally the last one to go up again just like the playstation 5 the amazon site finally went up and it was unavailable um, i never saw it in stock on amazon there was never an option to get it that just was never listed as available so that was pretty much my experience with that and you know i'll be getting one thank goodness there let me know in chat down below i want to know uh, from the community and everyone watching this video what was your experience with this pre-order did you get the xbox series x or did you get the xbox series s which one did you get um why did you go uh for the x or the s let me know that let me know if you had any kind of errors or what you were seeing or what kind of problems you were running into let me know how frustrated you were and, the, and all the chaos that was going on well or, or if it was smooth let me know if it was a smooth pleasant uh, experience for you i kind of want to get a feeling for how it was for everybody out there so if you could just put your thoughts about this your experience with this down in chat that would be greatly appreciated we will be doing an unboxing of the xbox as well as the playstation when they both arrive because i am a gamer and i play on all the consoles and pc and everything i don't really doesn't matter where it is i play where i want to play so uh we'll be doing an unboxing and system setup those videos have been very popular on the channel in the past when we've had new console launches so look forward to those right around launch time for these consoles if they arrive i hope they arrive knocking on wood that they arrive um but getting them direct from microsoft and the, you know the one i got from sony direct from them should be should be good as gold hopefully so uh really do appreciate y'all stopping by here if you want to watch me on twitch i do uh, live twitch streaming you go to twitch.tv slash vampire dracool the link to that is in the description below i usually stream wednesdays fridays saturdays and sundays and uh, kind of a variety of games. Uh, we do play Apex Legends, Sea of Thieves quite often currently, as well as Avengers and Spider-Man. And then we rotate the, uh, the single-player game, which is Spider-Man currently out. Um, we usually put up a poll for the community to vote on, and then we go with the game that had the most votes. So uh, there is a current poll up on the Twitch channel, so if you want to vote on my next single-player game after we beat Spider-Man, then let me know about that and go over there and vote. Uh, appreciate you following if you want to stop by over there on twitch we greatly appreciate that the growth of twitch and youtube has been phenomenal recently with everyone supporting this channel i want to thank each and every one of my current um, subscribers and followers I really do appreciate you stopping by and engaging with this content and uh, if you haven't already i would really appreciate it if you were to drop a sub on youtube if you found value in this video and liked it definitely hit the like button and if you want to get notifications of when i upload more videos like this as well as highlights from the gaming and other random things about video games and the stock market then definitely ding that bell you'll be one of the first to be able to view the content as it is uploaded so again let me know your experiences in the comments below and i will try to respond to each and every one of you uh, i really want to know how it how it was for you all out there so um with that being said i think we're gonna end this video now until next time keep it real <laughs>